Hi, Nick. Welcome back to the channel. We've got ourselves here for our field stripping series, an original Hungarian-made post-dealer sample PKM with all matching numbers. Even the spare barrels have matching numbers. That's, that's a neat thing. So, let's go ahead and take it apart. We're going to move in closer because get better lighting and actually show you guys what the operation of the firearm is. We've moved in close. Let's get into dis the disassembly. There's a little tab on the back end here. You're going to push in and rotate up. There goes your dust cover. And your feed tray, you're just going to pick up, move right in line with it, get it out of your way. And then, we've got a barrel lock right here. Push that forward, or to the side or whatever. And then, your whole barrel is going to come right out the front. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Now, take the recoil spring out. We're going to push in on this little tab. The whole thing is going to come out just like that. To the side. Now, take the barrel, or not the barrel, the bolt out. I'm going to pull that back. And then there's these two little cutouts here. You're going to line the bolt up with that. You're going to line the bolt up with that. And make sure when you go ahead and take that out, your charging handle is all the way forward. Because then it won't come out if it's not all the way forward. And you're just going to pick up. If this decides it wants to stay on the table, dang tripod. Pick up. The whole thing will come out. Just like that. Now... Little bolt here. Push back and rotate so that this tab comes out of that cam groove. And the whole thing will just come right out the front. Do whatever you need to it. Now, let's go ahead and get back into dis uh, reassembly, not disassembly. There's a little tab right down in there that you're going to line this up with. Put it in. There we go. And then make sure that it actually locks in because right here it might look like it's there because it goes forward but this is what you need to go into the cam groove you're going to make sure that's rotated in you'll know when it's in because you can't move it once it's forward it doesn't rotate at all and then i'm going to go ahead and stick your piston into the bottom end hinge it down try to work with it Get it, come on, there we go, drop that in, if it wants to go in the hole, there we go, I was holding on to the dust cover, that's moving the thing up, now, open bolt, remember, press trigger to let that forward, move it forward, because there's no recoil spring to move the bolt, that's what we're putting in next, line this up with the hole at the back end of the carrier, Put that in, push forward, taking great care not to launch it across the room. And there's a little tab up down there that you're going to push that down. You can feel that click in. Then, just to make sure everything's all lined up on the sear and everything, you're going to pull that back. The bolt has to be back in order to put the barrel back in. So, we're going to take that barrel, line it up with the front end here. You'll see these, these two little cuts here. Those you want pointing up. Push those back in. That's going to line back up with your lock here. Push that forward, and that's all good. Then push, pull the trigger, and let that off real nice and gentle. That's all the way forward. Now the feed tray. There's no additional thing you have to do with the feed tray. You don't have to make sure everything's all lined up. Make sure it's pushed back into the right direction. This one is all a self-contained unit, so we can just go ahead and push that down and not worry about anything additional. And then, dust cover, lock that down, pushing that tab in to make sure it gets locked into this little tab on the back. And from there, you got yourself a fully functional PKM. All right, so I didn't mention this because camera angles were a bit weird, but now we're able to show it to you. Here we've got the barrel there's the gas block here. 
you know, part of field stripping, you're going to want to take this apart and clean into it because you're going to get it pretty fouled up, especially if you're shooting corrosive ammo. You're going to want to take this apart and make sure it's all nice and clean. Now this little tab here, you can put a, a 762 by 54 r cartridge in there to rotate it off and pull the thing out and get in there with your cleaning rod and all your stuff to get it running spick and span. Just wanted to mention that because having the camera here was a bit awkward, but it is necessary to mention. Alright, thanks for joining us on this episode of our, our field stripping series. We had some, a lot of fun taking part the PKM. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Rumble. You have a good one.